If you've never had mustard fried chicken, you are in for a treat. This chicken is like no other chicken you've ever tasted. What up, guys? Jackie Cooks here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You are in for a treat today, I promise. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and join the family. Without further ado, let's get started. I am so glad you're here. This mustard fried chicken is amazing. My chicken is already fully thawed and I'm going to show you how I wash my chicken. I'm going to be using about three tablespoons of white vinegar and I'm going to be using the juice of a whole lemon. Let me know in the comments section if you clean your chicken. I'm going to be using three tablespoons of white vinegar, but you can also use apple cider vinegar. I forgot what I was doing right here. You know, you go in Walmart to get something and you forgot what you came in there for. This is my favorite juicer right here. It works so well, it's so easy to use, and I love the color. All you do is cut the lemon in half, place it with the round side up, and press down. That is so easy. I love this. I love it. I love this cup. I'm going to be making a lot of things with lemons this summer. See how you just press that down and the juice comes right out and it collects the seeds. How's that? So I'm going to use a whole juice lemon and I'm going to spread that all over the chicken. I'm going to make sure that all the chicken is coated, is covered with that lemon. And I'm going to place the top on. I'm going to place it in the refrigerator for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And here we are. Our chicken is ready, looking good, smelling good. We're just going to go ahead and cut it up. We're going to cut it at the joint, which makes it so easy to cut. Now, of course, I'm going to keep the drumettes and I'm going to keep the flats. But I'm going to throw the tips away. What do you do with the tips? Do you save them? Or do you throw them away? Comment below. Let me know. You can keep the tips for chicken soup, broth, or anything like that. I hear some people eat the tips. I don't even think there's any meat on the tips. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue to cut up the chicken. The mustard is going to act as a tenderizer and allow the chicken to be moist. It's going to continue to be moist. At this point, you want to completely cover your chicken with the mustard. Coat it very evenly on both sides. Saturate it. The mustard acts as a binder, so the seasonings will have something to stick to. You want to use your favorite seasonings. These are the seasonings that I'm going to be using today. I'm just going to go ahead and mix those up. And I'm going to sprinkle it over the chicken both sides because we eat both sides. <laughs> For the best crispy, crispy, crispy chicken, I'm going to be using the Arco cornstarch one-to-one -one ratio with the flour. I'm going to add the seasonings in the flour that I also used on the chicken. I'm going to mix that in the flour very well. I'm going to use this large container to shake my chicken in so that it will be fully coated very well. I won't miss a spot. I know you guys don't remember the brown bags back in the day that maybe your grandparents used to shake the chicken in. Well, this is a replica. I'm pretending like this is a large brown bag because I didn't have one. So I'm using this large container. Shake, shake, shake. We're going to take the chicken out and remove the excess flour and just put it on the plate. We're going to take all that chicken out and put it on the plate. Make sure you shake off the excess flour that way you won't have flour stuck at the bottom of your cast iron skillet and we're going to let that let that chicken rest for about five minutes we're going to measure our temperature with a wooden spoon to be 350 degrees once it reaches 350 degrees we're going to put our chicken in the hot oil and make sure that they do not touch that they have room around each other we're going to cook our chicken about four to five minutes on each side. And when it's beautiful, golden brown, we're going to take it out and put it on a plate to rest. If you're cooking a large batch of chicken and you want all the chicken to be crispy and warm at the same time, you want to put your chicken on parchment paper 
on top of a wire rack in an oven at 200 degrees. That way it'll come out as perfect, the last piece of chicken as perfect as the first piece of chicken you've cooked. But this mustard fried chicken is amazing. It, ta it has like a tangy, distinctive taste. You can't taste the mustard. It is so good. This mustard fried chicken is amazing. You can't even taste the mustard. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Stick around with me. Please do not hesitate to check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback and I will see you in the next one.